Hi everyone, it's me, and we're going to do uh, some talking some more, Francis and I, about membership levels at C1 Skype. We're going to talk about Skype rooms, we're going to talk about um, what you get beyond free as silver and platinum at this point. Things may change this year, we never know, but what the different membership levels are. And um, what did you just say to me, how you feel? <laughs> about being a free member? <laughs> oh, Uh-oh, I can't hear you. She said she feels like she's missing out as a free member. I definitely feel like I'm missing out. I remember... Oh, your, vo your sound is not very good. Try, try to fix it. Maybe get closer to the mic, or... There's a hush sound in the background also. Yeah, there is. I don't... Better. Okay, so try it again. Okay, that better. Yeah, I think so. We'll try it. Okay. Um, Julia, Senator. <laughs> well, this was a flop. <laughs> I can't hear a word you're saying. Can you hear me still? I can. Uh, there. Like wind blowing his mic. Okay. When you speak, when you said I can, I could hear you real clear. You said it nice and loud. Okay. I can hear you fine, but I feel that as a free member of see me, see you on Skype, I'm missing out. I don't know what the upgrades entail and what you get for the amount of that you're upgrading for. Right. So we were talking about, we started out with she wants to join more Skype rooms, so we want to go back and include that a part of, a part of the conversation also, but um, I explained to her that as, as a free member, you do get a Skype room, um, and you get limited access to me, but as a paid member, um, you get these kind of, uh, the kind of help that I gave to Francis today um, is an example you know, I try to give free help every once in a while, but really it's my business. And so generally people that are paid get more help from me in whatever it is they're doing with their Skype. Whether it's just how Skype is working. Uh, we fixed a Skype call today for, for Francis. Her calls weren't ringing and she wanted them to. We figured it out. We fixed it. Um, it, to to using Skype tools and Skype marketing and joining Skype communities and Skype rooms to network, find more people to network with on Skype and uh, everything else, you know, Skype marketing, Skype for business. So um, at this point, like I said, this 2016, things may change. I've got a new coach and uh, things may change, but at the way it is right now, um, except for on rare occasions when I do invite free members, only the regular Tuesday 2 p.m. training, Eastern Time 2 p.m., on Tuesdays that covers the first week Skype marketing, the second week Skype uh, rooms, and the third week Skype safety and hack recovery, and the fourth week Skype tips and updates, all kinds of stuff like the stuff we just did today to fix Francis's problem. Um, we'll go over quick Skype tips as I answer them in Skype. Um, so that's the the schedule for the trainings each week of the month are those four topics. Um, so those trainings are normally open only to paid members. Silver members can come live. Uh, platinum members get the recordings and silver members can purchase those recordings if they like um, for 50% off whatever I charge. And depending on the content that I cover, I will charge anywhere from $27 to $97 for an, in, an individual Skype training or a Skype session. So um, that's what you get. <laughs> um, it could change, but that's as far as coming to the trainings, that's, you know, part of CU on Skype. There's many things inside of CU on Skype. There's rooms to join, which is part of what I wanted to tell you about. Um, Francis, I just added three new rooms for anyone to join um, that it's on the free page right now it will be removed to paid members only but if you log in to see you on Skype um, there are three um, networking or actually advertising rooms that you can post anything similar to the room of um, 
Well, actually, I guess you're in one of them. I think you're in one of Susan's rooms. She's got three rooms like that, so you can join her other rooms with different people in them. Yes, I am on her other room. I'm in all of her rooms. Oh, you are. Okay, so you already know about those. Well, there are more rooms on the Skype room page inside of C1 Skype that you can join. Like if you're not a member of my Introduce Yourself Monday room, in which you get to actually experience a moderated chat. And one of the benefits of those is that you can open and close the room for a certain time. So only on Mondays you can you post in the room. And you can introduce yourself, read other people's introductions, and interact with them about what was in their introduction for this week. So uh, we do things like not just put what you're about and introducing yourself, but we also update each other. What's your goal for this week? What did you accomplish? What do you need help with? What's your goal for next week? What haven't you accomplished yet? So we can help each other and network as well. So it's not an advertising room, it's an actual networking room where you can introduce yourself on Mondays. And I have hundreds of rooms. And um, you can join one room a month as a paid member. Uh, so. Uh, the other way, Skype rooms are not listed anywhere by Skype, so there's no one will ever know how many Skype rooms that, that exist because you have to be invited. All Skype rooms are basically private. So what I created years ago was a Skype directory at skypechat.net where you can find Skype rooms, group chats, communities on Skype to instant message with, not just call, although you can use the rooms for calling. You know, there's limits to calls. We'll do that another time. Um, but uh, people think that Skype is just phone calls, and a group community would be a group call, which is possible for free on Skype. News update. <laughs> but, um, yeah, premium Skype is no more. You don't have to pay to have a group call, video call or audio call, limited to 25 for audio calls and 10, with video calls limited to the slowest internet bandwidth on the call so it's not the best to have meetings in but um, group chats or Skype rooms are communities that can instant message each other and all contribute you can put links in there you can get people out into social to participate and support each other on whatever social networking or social media site you like Facebook Twitter you name it uh, YouTube videos anyway um, so joining more Skype rooms is uh, you either have to be invited by people to add you if it's allowed, if, this, if it's a moderated chat, you can set up a room so that it's not allowed and only the admins can add people. Um, cloud rooms, you don't have that control. So um, you, don't, you need to set up your rooms correctly, but I'm all over the place here. You wanted you to join more rooms. I wanted to let you know that there are more rooms listed inside of your membership at C1 Skype. And I also have a Skype directory where you can join rooms and find people. Both You can find people on Skype and rooms on Skype at skypechat.net. Um, to list your own Skype, that's only for um, my members and people who, you know, my partners, people who connect with me, and I can allow them to list their Skype or their Skype room for, right now it's a very low price of $12 per year to list your Skype room. Um, and I can set up a, a, a legacy moderated Skype room for you, not a cloud room where you have no control. Uh, those are options at uh, your listing. Um, list your Skype, sorry, list your Skype. So you need to add me on Skype and let me know if you need to list yourself or a Skype room there. Um, those options are at the site, but you can't list yourself without my help. <laughs> so creating the right kind of room is an option also at a very low price. My normal prices are much higher than that on other sites, like member.co on Skype. But um, how does that sound, Francis? Anything you want to add about that? I want in. You want in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about that. So if you go... If you go to um, Skype, let's see if I can bring it up, skypechat.net, wow, that's a gorgeous picture, skypechat.net, this site will be changing, and it may even throw an error at us, and I'm just going to refresh if it does. I'm not sharing my screen, but if you go there yourself, uh, Francis. 
Rolling, rolling, rolling. Skype chat. Oh, what? Skype chat dot net. Yeah, I thought you. Oh, mine didn't throw an error. Share the link in the comments. Okay. Did you, uh, okay, I'll share the link. If you click, click it. Yeah, I'll make it easy so you can just click the link. There we go. All right. All right. So over here yeah. at skypechat.net, um, you can find Skype rooms and Skype people down here. Uh, Skype people, Skype rooms. Again, if you're going to set up a room to be publicly listed here at this time, we're going to improve this later this year, hopefully. Um, should I say hopefully or definitely, Russ? Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're definitely going to fix this site. Um, right now, I would make that a prospecting or qualifying Skype room if you want to list your Skype rooms. But if you want to find Skype rooms here, um, anyone can do that and click the link to join the room. Um, how you do things is usually over here in the Skype articles or or if you go up like how to join a room from here or how to find people or whatever. Skype tips actually don't have how to find people. If you want to find people, you can click Skype people and find them. How to join rooms. You might need a tutorial video which is either in the Skype articles on the left or Skype tips up at the top. Okay, yeah, mute yourself. There's funny sounds. Hello. Oh, she didn't mute herself. <laughs> so anyways, if we click on list your Skype in the upper left, you can see the options that I'm talking about. Uh, yes, it is rolling. It is loading. We are waiting for that. Yes, she muted. Thank you, Francis. So this site will change this year. We want to get more targeted traffic, so there may be something like this inside of CU on Skype. But if you go to list your Skype, I <laughs> it's still. I had a, are you with me, Francis? Yeah, I had a plugin pop up, a Skype plugin. Oh, I, really? That's interesting. Yeah, Skype. That's that's a plugin for WordPress blogs. There's a. Um, plug in so that you can, it's called Co Covert Conversations, if anybody's interested. It pops up when you visit, I thought that was turned off here, it pops up when you visit uh, skypechat.net as a demonstration, and you join the room, the Skype room, uh, to learn more about it. But it looks like a Skype call, it's not, it's a plug in that looks like a Skype call. Anyway, <laughs> that's called Covert Conversations, it's a pop up that looks like a Skype call, it's a WordPress plug in. And if you're interested in any, you can have people call your Skype if you want. You can have uh, it go to a uh, page of your choosing. In my case, I had it set up to a Skype room here at skypechat.net about the plugin. So if you get that pop up, that's covert conversations. Anyway, back over here. So do you see up at the top where in the in the purple menus it says home and then list your Skype? Yes. Okay, well, if you click list your Skype, that's what I'm showing in the video. And it says you can list your Skype as a Skype person, the Skype people, for free. Um, that no longer works because I uh, wanted... Uh, I got a fatal error. Yeah, that's a... Re just refresh. Again, there's a lot of changes that have to, be, have to happen over here. Just re If you get the error page, just refresh and you should come back. I did. Thank you. And do you see the menus and everything now? Yes, I see free and uh, Skype okay. room. Listening. Right. So if you want to list a Skype room here, there it's twelve dollars. That's a year. It's a subscri PayPal subscription. Select plan again. Maybe we'll put Bitcoin options on here at some point. Sounds like that's an option, a possibility we'll look into. But, uh, and also at see you on Skype for Bitcoin subscriptions. Um, if you want to list your Skype, get in touch with me. We will have you select that plan. It will go to PayPal, PayPal first. You can see all the features and the differences between the different plans here at skypechat.net. Um, if you want a featured listing, it will always stay scrolling at the top. It will always be visible here. here. Again, 
you're going to attract all kinds of people. This is not targeted. There's all kinds of people that find this. Now, I, my Skype rooms are in categories. So again, we want to put this in more targeted sites that make it, you know, so that you only get the right kind of people, not, not all kinds of strange people on Skype adding you. Right now, that's the way it's set up. So we're going to change that. So if you want to list your Skype, be prepared to list it. I would list a Skype room that's a prospecting room protecting your primary Skype and using my strategy where you filter people through a prospecting or qualifying Skype room um, on your topic in your category. And the Skype rooms, like I said, are listed by category here. So there is a possibility you'll get the right people. And you can promote it to the right audiences. So uh, featured listings um, are 60 at this point. Prices could change later. Skype rooms uh, plus is where I will make a room for you for only $39. That is all I will do. <laughs> I, won't, I won't help you set it up if you want it. If you want uh, me to, to fully set it up, you have to find the sales page at member.cu on skype.com. And it's a lot more. But uh, setting up your guidelines, setting up your moderation rules, your moderators, your people you want to be admin, um, your topic picture locked, um, uh, all kinds of useful things that, that I know about Skype rooms that you can do if you have the right kind of Skype room is way more than that. This is just me setting up the room for you and also listing it here uh, at $12 per year. And then um, if you want the featured listing made for you Skype room, then um, that's both listing it as a feature, setting it up for you, and um, putting, uh, giving you four Skype buttons for people to Skype you privately also. So it's Skype ID, Skype room link, a URI is a join link for the room. Enter the URI or Skype room. Um, yeah, so the, there'll be buttons, Skype room join buttons on your listing, and it will be also a featured listing that always scrolls at the top. So that's how we do it. So get with me, I guess, later on. Um, you know, remember, as an upgraded member, you get 50% discounts as a silver member. Um, you get a lot of this stuff for free as a platinum member of CU on Skype. But this has been long enough. Any questions in this video? Any questions, um, Francis? Uh, no, I think first I need to proceed to upgrade on my see, me on, see you on Skype. Right. And that's my first, my first step, and then get with you on setting up my proper Skype room. Right, setting up the correct kind of Skype room. Um, and uh, and then you you want different kinds of rooms. You want to set up prospecting or filtering or qualifying rooms um, and list those at skypechat.net. Does that sound like what you want to do? Yes, it does. Okay, that's great. All right, anything else you want to bring up? No, Julie, you've just been a uh bearable font of information and I appreciate your help today getting my Skype to where I could hear my calls again. Very, very, very welcome. I really appreciate your time on that and I am going to proceed with this with updating on see you on Skype to get my monthly package there. Right. Uh, I, I think you said it was a silver membership Right, and then you can come to the live trainings. This week's training is, is it's the third week of the one, month. So I have some really interesting things to show about some research that I did on two of the most common Skype hacker methods. And one, I think, was came from you, actually. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I did some research, some experiments and things, and I want to show some of that. And I uh, forget what else is going to be included. But it's going to be very interesting, uh, including backing up your Skype, which is a safety. Skype safety and hack recovery is the topic for the third week. So backing up your Skype is important for your safety. So, I've never done that. <laughs> and I have been hacked. Right. So we need to be prepared for, God forbid, that should ever happen, and how to recover quickly and how to communicate 
you know, we should talk about the silver lining of being hacked and getting recovered, starting communication and networking with all of your contacts when you let them know with a Skype broadcast with certain Skype tools that you've recovered, not to click the link because you, it's too old, you can't remove the link that the hacker put in, things like that. So silver lining to getting recovered from a Skype hack is one of the things I'll go over in, in the training. See you on Skype, everybody. Thanks a lot, Francis. Stay here. I'll just end the recording.